What about that? How are you? Welcome to Britain's Got More Talent. What a night it has been. Spellbound are the winners. Where are they going? I need you here. Simon's going that way as well. Do you know something? Expect anything to happen in tonight's show, guaranteed. We've got all oh, the only people with E on the stage have gone. You're right there, Chaney. You're right, Chaney. You good? You good? Are they, son? Good, son. We'll talk to you later, boys. Come over this side. Look, do you know something? Second place, not a bad place to be. Think of Susan Boyle. How are you feeling? We are feeling so proud right now, honestly. Just... Oh, it's amazing, I can't. <laughs> it's amazing. It doesn't feel like, we're, like it's real yet, it hasn't, like it hasn't hit us properly. When you are standing up there and you're waiting for that result, what does it feel like, that big pause? It feels like a lifetime, it goes on forever, it's ridiculous. <laughs> How confident were you? I saw you earlier on and uh, of course you, you were saying you were nervous and that sort of stuff. Um, you didn't seem nervous when you were doing the routine. It all seemed to go according to plan. Uh, once the music comes on, we're fine, but you know, the competition was so open, it could have gone anyway. Well, listen, guys, you know how much I'm a, a big fan, and we'll speak to you more a bit later on. Let's hear it for Twist and Pulse, everybody. <laughs> but now, come over this side. Let's find the winners of Britain's Got Talent 2010, Spellbound. <laughs> you know something? I would give you a massive big hug, but of course I've got to keep the suit a tiny bit clean. Now, look, let's start off over this side. Um, incredible, incredible routine. Um, what are you going to do with the money? Uh, well, we're all going to split it, and then I think lots of people want to go on holiday, have a, have a break. Uh, <laughs> How many, how, many is there, how many is there of you? There's 13, 13 is there? Yeah, 13. 13. So that's 100, 100 grand, uh, 30. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that really is. Now, the Royal Variety Show, how important is that to you? Oh, that's great. I mean, getting the Queen to watch us. <laughs> something we haven't done before, so it would be a great experience. Now, Simon said it was one of the most astonishing things he's ever seen. Don't forget, this man has seen a lot of acts. What does that mean to you when you hear that? It's Simon Cowell. <laughs> if he says that about us, it's just a great achievement for us. Just well, that alone. do you know something? That's the, the, the bit at the start where, where you threw... What's your name? Edward. Edward. When, when you threw Edward, it was incredible. We've actually slowed it down. First time you'd have seen it. Have a little look just here. Watch this. Watch. Get ready. Here you go, Edward. <laughs> look at that! Come on! When, the, when you're doing that... Um, how worried are you that you're not actually going to make it? Um, not so worried. Um, more trying to dodge Amanda. But <laughs> some people like to call it flying, but I call it falling with style. Oh, nice. I like that. What would you have done if at that point Amanda went, yeah, and stood up? I'd have caught him. Just try, try to dodge her or take her with me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, look, you catch your breath, let it all sink in, check your bank balance, and uh, I'll talk to you a bit later on. Once, once again, your winners of Britain's Got Talent 2010. Spellbound, everyone. So, you're probably thinking you've got a good idea about what goes on behind the scenes by now, but as today's the final, things have been getting a bit more dramatic. <laughs> This is the final backstage. The best VT in the world. Well, it's the big final. Very exciting, isn't it? It is exciting. I like these chairs. What's that, the judges' chairs? We've got ten great acts tonight. Nobody kind of knows. There's a real buzz around the studio because nobody quite knows how's, how it's going to go. Um, nobody can pick a winner. Stressful day, early in the morning. I think this is the closest final we've ever had, so it'll be very tense tonight. Really excited. Today's the day. I'm so excited. Oh, exciting! Oh, I tell you, Jenny, look, these spellbound kids get everywhere, don't they? Oh, you better believe it, Sean. <laughs> I'm going back to the back to front dancing. Body moving, body moving. So we've got a bit of a twilight thing going on today with Tobias. He's in a harness, uh, which is flown from the roof. Um, he's going to be lowered down into a coffin. We've then got 20 dancers dressed as zombies, and we've also got two coffins inside of the stage. Being attached to the wires is uh, it's fun, but it's uh, a little bit painful in some areas. The 
amazing feeling to be in the final. I've never felt anything like it. I've had such a fantastic journey all the way through. It's been a little bit difficult trying to get our new routine together because obviously we only got through on the Thursday night so we've only had a little while to kind of polish it up and add in a few new bits and stuff but it's going really well. We are the I think I'm going to get a bacon sandwich, actually. Hello. Oh, hello. Is that Christopher? Um, yeah, it's Simon Cow here. Uh, bad news, I'm afraid. This show's been cancelled, so you might as well go home. Right, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Bye. No matter what way it goes, as long as I do my best. But I hope I went for the best. <laughs> All oh, right, son. <laughs> I am going to be so excited going up and down pyrotechnics, fireworks, oh, it's just dancers as well. It's the first time ever on drums. It's just going to be amazing. You are the cheeky boys. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. We've got it. Hello, is that JD? Hello, Simon. Bit of bad news, the uh, show's been cancelled. Cancelled? And you might as well go home. OK. That's not very funny. <laughs> what a show. What a show indeed it is. Now, we'll be talking to the other five. Let's didn't quite crack it tonight, but first, let's find out what it's like to win with Ashley Banjo and Mr Paul Potts. <laughs> Paul, an incredible show tonight. Absolutely. I, I've heard lots of noise about how this year hasn't been up to the same standard as previous years, but tonight's shown that to be nonsense. It's a great, great evening, and I'd like to wish every single contestant a, a huge well done, and, and Spellbound are going to be a huge credit to this nation. Absolutely. <laughs> Nicely said. Have you, let me stand in the middle, actually. Ashley, any tips for Spellbound? Oh, just keep doing what they're doing. You know, this show... I mean, I'm, I'm rarely in the audience, and I was in the audience tonight, and I was on my feet after every single act. You know, Spellbound came on, they closed the show, and they were, as Simon said, world class, and they were just amazing. They just need to keep doing exactly what they're doing, keep training, and just keep dedicated. Now, you both do know what it's like to win. How soon does it sink in? Um, it takes some time. I'm, I'm not even sure that it's completely sunk in yet. But it's been an amazing couple of years for me. I, I, I've released two albums, Passione and One Chance, and, and just about to start working on my third album, which, which I'm going to be working with a, um, a major Hollywood um, music producer on. Wow. And I'm really looking forward to that. Well, look, best of luck to you both. Let's hear it for Ashley Banjo and Paul Potts. <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you later. Nice to see you back. Still to come, the judges will be on the more talent sofa and we'll also be talking to Spellbound, so keep your emails coming in. We'll also be chatting to Keith Lemon, Denise Van Alton and Bobby Ball. Plus, either Antor Deck will be going home with a donkey. Fact.